Health Minister Julius Timothy says he is concerned about the rising prevalence of tobacco use among girls in the country. Dominica is celebrating no tobacco day today. He says about 20% of the world's 1 billion smokers are women and the use of tobacco by women and girls is increasing. Timothy was at the time delivering an address to commemorate no tobacco day today. In 2004, a survey conducted among 13 to 15 year old students in Dominica showed that 13% were currently smoking and 31.4% started smoking before age 10. The younger children are when they first start smoking, the more likely they are to become regular tobacco users. This makes it harder for them to stop. People who start smoking or are exposed to tobacco smoke at an early age are also at risk to developing chronic diseases such as cancer and heart disease, which are the leading causes of death today. World No Tobacco Day will give due recognition to the importance of controlling the epidemic of tobacco marketing amongst girls and women. Timothy says today's campaign will also take into consideration the protection of men and boys. Although the World No Tobacco Day 2010 campaign will focus on tobacco marketing to women, it will also take into consideration the need to protect boys and men from the tobacco company's tactics. It is important that tobacco control policies recognize and take into account gender norms, differences, and responses to tobacco in order to reduce tobacco use and improve the health of men and women worldwide. What action then should be taken to protect women and girls and ultimately our future generation? Health Minister Julius Timothy. This year, the World Health Organization has selected the theme Gender and Tobacco with the emphasis on marketing to women. Minister responsible for Community Development, Social Services and Gender Affairs, Gloria Schillingford, says senior citizens in Dominica should not be denied an opportunity to contribute towards national development. Schillingford was speaking at the annual general meeting of the Dominica Council on Aging at the Fortune Hotel today. It is important to recognize that many senior citizens can still enjoy the social aspects of life and so their organizations should encourage them to participate in activities such as backyard gardening, visiting other groups, attending social events such as concerts, becoming involved in church and community groups, and generally participating in community life. This will foster a sense of belonging which is critical to their happiness and well-being. Of course, those who are still active mentally and physically should not be denied the opportunity to continue contributing to national development if they desire to do so. They may wish to serve as mentors, teachers, facilitators, or simply to provide support for those who have succeeded them in leadership positions in their communities or in society on the whole. Minister responsible for community development, social services and gender affairs, Gloria Schillingford. Meantime, featured speaker at the AGM, Dr. Jared Grell, says about a third of the elderly are faced with the issue of emotional and psychological abuse. He says abuse of the elderly at the workplace is a growing concern. But there's a, ma a major issue which is, which is of concern, I think, to, to most managers and mo uh, worldwide, and this is a uh, whole question of abuse uh, of the elderly. Uh, there's psychological dash, emotional abuse. As you can see, about a third of the elderly um, have this as a major problem um, because the, 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 the family and so haven't really been prepared and uh, people are so busy these days, they don't have time to spend with their, their 
elderly. Featured speaker at the annual general meeting of the Dominica Council on Aging, Dr. Jared Grell. Still in more news this lunchtime, Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt says the global financial crisis has taken its toll on the Dominican economy. He told reporters at the fourth one-day international game in Dominica held on Sunday that the global recession has affected the country in several ways. Uh, we have um, been affected by way of the um, uh, fall in the exchange rate, particularly with regards to the U.S. in the first instance and now the euro. Uh, so we've been affected by the way. But because of our very strong fiscal policy, uh, we have sort of um, weathered the storm a little better than some other persons would have um, done it. And we also um, increased our implementation on the public sector investment program. You know, major road works and, and infrastructural works um, have been taking place during that period of time. So you had money circulating. in the, the government certainly um, placed the implementation of those projects and programs in high gear, so to speak. Uh, so we've been able to weather the storm a bit. And um, in large measure, a, a, a number of these projects and programs were negotiated before the recession started, before the crisis started. And our development partners remain committed uh, and loyal to us uh, um, throughout this difficult time. And so all the promises and agreements which were entered into before the recession our friends continue along with us, um, particularly during the very difficult time. According to Prime Minister Skerritt, Dominica's ability to survive the global credit crunch is as a result of its diverse economy. We're not totally dependent on the service industry. We have some agriculture, we have some manufacturing, we have the tourism, uh, both the um, uh, over, um, stay over and also the cruise. We have seen an increase in the cruise by about um, 33% uh, over the last um the last um, cruise season. So it's a little bit more diverse than the other islands and we can in large measure feed ourselves. Um, though our import bill is a bit high because um, people's lifestyle uh, um, have changed, the standard of living has improved, so they, they will certainly import much more. But so we have a little diverse economy and, and certainly um, strong fiscal policies. Um, for, for small island states like ours to survive, uh, we, we must have strong fiscal policies. And sometimes our people don't understand the need for, for strong fiscal policies, but in, in periods like this, we understand what's happening. Now coming out to the IMF program too, we were able to, uh, um, to take a number of structural um, decisions um, to, to change the structural um, um, landscape of our economy. And those things have helped um, quite a bit in, in certainly uh, withstanding the, the, the major impact we would have had otherwise um, by the global crisis. Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt. And finally, on the locals in this lunchtime, the government of Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt is continuing to invest significantly into the financial resources. Today, Dominica will officially open the new Salibia Primary School. The official opening of the school will be attended by Prime Minister Skerritt himself, members of Cabinet and officials from the Ministry of Education, among others. The ceremony will begin at 3. Dominica Football Association Division 1 finals ended here on Sunday at the Buffett State playing field following a tough fight between Wacky Rollers when they took on Walton Insurance Harlem. We have more in this report from Jared George. Wacky Rollers are the champions of the DFA Division 1 league. They defeated Walton Insurance Harlem 4-1 last night in the finals at the Buffett State playing field. Jenna Williams, Naril Charles, Lex Militi and Barrington Charles scored for Wacky Rollers with Kenny Winston scoring the lone goal for Harlem, Wacky Rollers will be promoted to the Premier Division in the new season, which is scheduled to begin later this year. Meanwhile, Trafalgar, Buffer Point, Dubla and Laplin Stars are through to the semi-finals of the DFE All-Island League. The semi-finals will begin on Tuesday with Trafalgar taking on Buffer Point, while on Wednesday it will be Dubla versus Laplin Stars. Both matches will be played at the Buffer State playing field from 6 p.m. The finals of the All Island League will be played on Friday at the Buffer State playing field at 6 p.m. Gerald George Piero, Dominica Football Association. And our thanks to Jerry George for that report. And meantime, in other sports, it was a disappointing loss for the West Indies team in the international cricket when the fourth of five one-day internationals ended here on Sunday. Team captain Christopher Gale told the presentation ceremony that it was very disappointing for his team. Sometimes they will do well with the bat and then you know, it will turn up with the ball and do something totally different and you know, we can have miss-ups like well, what they have today in the outfield. So it's you know, very disappointing and you know, heartbreaking to the fans you know, which are such a, such a good turnout today and 
you know, we're very pleasing for that. So, you know, thanks for the support. And, you know, like I said, I'm you know, very disappointed in um, the end of the day. Gail says he's disappointed also in the performance of his fellow players. Um, well, it, to be honest with you, I'm very disappointed in a few players, um, you know, a few bowlers. Um, when I ask them to do something, they can't actually do it. And, you know, so it doesn't make sense.